I think people associate Node with uh, a lot of drama and a lot of, uh, I'm going to politely turn them debates about the future of the language. Um, I see that as a huge benefit of Node, that those discussions are happening openly and um, as part of the community. Uh, so many languages, so many choices we make are um, overdetermined by the actions of one small, not transparent group of people. I see Node and the oversight structures that it has in place um, as a real bet, uh, similar to the way that we bet on the web and that bucket of open technologies. You can have confidence in these collective decisions. You can have confidence in knowing that the majority of people are going to make the right choice the majority of the time. Um, and that is really one of the things I love about Node, is uh, knowing that also maybe someday even I can get to participate in decisions about this technology that we're all so interested in. Node changes as fast as the web changes, but it also changes like the web changes, incrementally. You, you have the confidence in knowing that things are developing in the best way possible. I would say that today, Node is in the same position that uh, technologies like um, Rails were in maybe five years ago, where it is increasingly the choice of savvy shops. But of course, uh, Node is different from any previous like server-side language or framework in that it pr lets you um, mirror the work you're doing on the client side and the server side. So in that sense, Node's prevalence is completely unique. Node is sometimes just a, you know, a choice of flavors, like Node versus Python, Node versus Java, Node versus Go. But sometimes Node represents something very different, a, a true move forward in web programming where we, uh, as developers, don't need to repeat ourselves any longer um, between the work on the client and the work on the server. And I think that is what is so exciting about node development.